Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. Today we've got a little more unboxing to do. This is really turning out to be a three-part series. Uh, part one was the GG1. Part two uh, are some freight cars. And part three is, well, you're going to have to wait for part three. While I was looking for the GG1, I came across somebody who was selling some K-Line uh, freight cars at a really good price. So I bid on one set of three and then another set of three, won both of them, uh, which is great because he was able to combine the shipping, which is a great way to save money if you're in a shop on eBay. So in this case, I got six freight cars, including shipping less than 60 bucks. So that beats my $10 a car goal. So I'm happy. Uh, what are the cars? I honestly don't know. They were all pictured in the boxes. I'm hoping they're in good condition. So let's check it out and find out. So here we go, box of freight cars. Like I said, they're all K-Line. Um, I'm not too sure what the cars are. I kind of could see some of them through uh, the plastic but not enough to really get a really good feel for what they looked like. Um, but then at less than 10 bucks a car, I didn't really care what they looked like or what the road names were. So let's see, the first one, covered hopper, the cover comes off. Lightweight car, very plastic, no sprung trucks. Other than the top, the only applied detail really is the brake wheel. But I'm okay with it. So that's a pretty cool little car. I don't have one like that. I am ending up with way too many boxes. I don't mind the trains, but the boxes, I really just, what am I gonna do with all of them? Let's see, number two, number two. A Rio Grande boxcar. Door slide. Cast trucks, cast sprung trucks, so that's kind of nice. I'm going to have to release the shell to get the uh, trucks turned around. Again, the only applied detail is the brake wheel, um, but with the addition of the sprung trucks and a slightly better brake wheel than the other one, it's nice. I like it. I just pop the screw out of the end of the car right here and spin those trucks around. Found the screw. So like the other car, this is definitely a pretty cheap feeling plastic, but for rolling stock under 10 bucks a piece, it's fine. The paint's good, the colors are nice, and no complaints. For number three, it looks like it's three and four. Random loose screw in box. Uh, I dropped the screw, but I found it. One of the things I learned as a mechanic is when you drop something, especially something small, is stop what you're doing and follow it down. So that way, if it bounces, it will be easier to find it. Okay, and I do need that screw. It had come out of the the end of the car here that holds the truck in. Hopefully it goes in and is not stripped out. But if it is, I'll just hot glue it or something. Yeah, that screw feels like it's stripped out. That's all right. I'll throw a little glue in there and we'll be fine. So that's a Southern Pacific hopper with a load in it. There's some dings in the load. That's all right, I'll just throw a little black marker on there or something. That'll be fine. I like that the first one was a covered hopper and it had a top and that this one has a load in it because all of the other hoppers that I have are all the old Line L ones and none of the ones I have have a load in them. So running a bunch of empty hoppers is a little boring. It's a little more interesting with something in them. Let's see if this one's missing a screw too. 
Nope, not missing a screw. And again, these have the cast trucks, so they're a little nicer. Uh, they don't have a separately applied uh, brake wheel, but they do have some detail at this one end of the hopper. You know, probably technical stuff that does something in real life, but not on a model. Uh, I feel like this car might be a little warped. It's a little bowed, but then again, it's a hopper. They get beaten, so I'm okay with it. I do like the cast trucks on these uh, K-Line cars. They're a decent truck. They're, they've got a good weight to them, and they look pretty good. Check that out. That's not bad. As far as I can tell, the type on it's nice and crisp. The big Santa Fe might be a little blurry around the edges, but that's a pretty uh, nice car. All the steps are there. Again, it's got the sprung trucks. The top opens, that's pretty cool. I guess that platform comes off. Now, originally, there must have been some more details that snapped onto the car, but I don't have those pieces. But then again, I don't care. I'm gonna put that back in the box and I'll probably forget that it had those, or it was supposed to, down to the last car. Different box, I'm guessing it's a newer one. Still taped shut, or retaped, how would I know? No, I'd say this has not been opened before. That's pretty cool. A decent weighted car. It's got some neat logs on there too. Okay, those might supposed to be glued on. It does look like they were glued and came off, but I'm actually quite impressed with this flat car. It's got nice cast sprung trucks. It's got three springs on each side instead of two. They're cast, but they're not sprung. Even though it looks like they are. That's tricky. The logs on the car. That's cool. The logs are different sizes. That's neat. Six freight cars. All ones I don't have for less than 10 bucks a piece, including the shipping. It's a heck of a haul if I do say so myself. Let's get a closer look at the cars. Up first is the K-Line GG1. In the last video, I wondered if it would perform better on a more modern transformer. So for this video, I connected the K-Line transformer to the main loop, and it is definitely a world of difference. It's Definitely starting off a lot slower, stopping more smoothly, and just running better. The ATSF 6218 covered hover. And I do think it's neat that it has a cover that comes off in case I want to run it empty or with a coal load in it. But that's nice. It's got you know, simulated hatches on top, simulated separately applied uh, doors on the bottom. I, I think the only thing this car could really use is a nicer set of trucks. These are just the, the plastic trucks. I'm not a big fan of those. The Rio Grande boxcar. I kind of feel like if there was light behind this, it would shine right through it. You can kind of see the light coming through the back of it, um, but that's okay. Not a big deal. The Southern Pacific gondolas with coal loads. I like them. They've got these details here at the end. They've got sprung trucks. It's got a pretty decent looking coal load. It's got some nicks on it. If my Sharpie was in the drawer where it belonged, I'd take care of that right now, but it's not, so I guess it's gone off hiding. I mean, I didn't necessarily want Southern Pacific. I mean, none of these are the road names that I would have wanted, but whatever, it, it works. I don't need all, you know, East Coast. <laughs> I, don't, I can run something other than East Coast railroads. Santa Fe tank car. 
Now this looks like a tanker to me. Maybe it's because going up and down the Jersey Turnpike, sitting in the back of my parents' car, I would look out the window and there would just be strings and just really long consists of black tank cars. Uh, they didn't say anything really on the side of them. I'm sure they did, but it's nothing I could see from the car. Um, but so I've always kind of felt like tank cars should be black and, you know, be a single dome black tank car. That's kind of what I remember seeing on the roads. So that's neat. It's got separately applied railings, sprung trucks. This, I guess you can take off. Uh, the top opens, you know, in case I want to fill it full of, I don't know, coffee. <laughs> but it's a pretty neat car. It's missing some individually applied details that should be like pushed into these spots here, like little warning, the warning plaques and whatnot. And I think uh, probably like a brake tank reservoir underneath or something, but that's okay. Now, one thing you don't see a lot on my layout is flat cars. And that's probably because most of the flat cars I have are really cheap, plastic, lightweight ones that I just don't really enjoy. This one's pretty neat. Now, I thought it has sprung trucks with three springs, but look at that, they're not sprung. They're just, they look sprung, but they're not. These ends will come off. The, the sticks look, they look pretty good. You know, they could, if I really cared about detailing, they could use some weathering, but they look fine. This is not from this haul, but this was an MTH caboose I picked up for a few bucks at one of my recent train shows. And I kind of forget to run it. It's a little on the heavy side, but this GG1 could probably pull anything. One of these days I'll have to do a, uh, how many cars does the GG1 pull? Let's watch them run. Hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching please remember to like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time on da griffin hobby